I've learned a lot about how I'm expected to be in the world as a woman and then what the reality of being in the world as a woman is. And I'm somehow trying to use a photographic medium which is always being used to shape women and to kind of sell them ideals and all that sort of thing, but to use it to kind of maybe try and make women not feel good about themselves, but enjoy a different type of beauty where women feature, but they're kind of more emblematic in a way for the female experience rather than about that individual woman. I kind of wanted to engage in a way to find out, okay, I'm thinking this, what are you thinking and what's your experience and how do you feel? And I kind of now look back on the work and talking about the 25 years and, and reflecting that my work has become increasingly geared to a female audience. And also now that gender is expanding and opening up, I do love the idea that we're now thinking about, well, what does being a woman actually mean? You know, and it's contested territory at the minute. So that journey is of 25 years is really interesting because there's a combination of keeping gender very binary. You can sell people stuff a lot easier because you're asking them to conform into really narrow rules. It's really important to me that women are free to choose without judgment because there's always judgment. So I don't care what you want to be as a woman. I don't care how you want to dress, as long as you have your own agency and authenticity. I really want to explore photography because I want to understand it, expand its language, understand its influence, and changing the value system in terms of what's beautiful. And how we can make it work for us. You know, it's really simple. I look for someone that wants to be photographed. That would think, yeah, it's an art project, I'll do it. Because I don't want to traumatize women. And like I said, I think um, the camera is quite traumatizing. I'm right up to, you know, if I do the picture and the person doesn't like the picture, I won't use it. It's that simple because the point is that it's a, a really nice kind of collaboration together between two strangers that work on a creative project together and it, it can give you a sort of sense of euphoria so it's a nice thing to do but i've noticed it's got harder to do because of how women feel in front of the lens and i'm thinking about those sort of things and i'm out in, this, in london with the camera and, and thinking about having to make work and the two just combine and i might walk past a woman where i think right she is perfect for the kind of character I want to put in this scenario with women kind of being trusting of each other. And then I would find the other character and then I would find the location that it could take place. And sometimes all that can be incredibly serendipitous because um, I don't know, there's something lovely about making art and particularly photography that if you're on the right path it will kind of just almost make itself, which is really nice. I think when you first start off, and it was in the 90s, but as a young woman, you think the world is your oyster. I mean, I could not wait to get out there and had a really good time. I think the late 90s, there was this sense of equality for women was achievable. I guess somehow that got hijacked because it was too powerful. And I kind of began to notice around that time that there was a small window when you could get images of women into the mainstream that didn't objectify them or wasn't sexist. It didn't need to exploit someone to get the viewer's attention. My remit was always to get different images of women out there than the ones that I had seen. I guess around that time I was kind of commercially successful. That little window of opportunity didn't last long and then lad culture came in and it seemed absurd to me that you would be making pictures of women and perfecting them, making their boobs bigger or their bum curvier or whatever, stretching them. But that seemed not only absurd but really dangerous and that did come in about 2000, 2010. And I guess because I've always been interested in this issue, I could see the shift and the drive and I could see the impact on my own daughters from this kind of intense targeting through images. My first protest images were at the Women's March in Trafalgar Square. Being aware of the uh, history of subjugation of women, 
and kind of being born into the 70s and coming through the 80s and casual sexism and undermining generally of women. I don't know, I thought they had the totally wrong idea of women and somehow photography could play a role in readjusting that idea. It has way more impact on our lives than I think we could ever begin to imagine. We photograph everything, which is why it needs to be in an art institution and written about, spoken about, understand it more deeply and its relationship with us rather than something we control because I suspect it controls us. Women make up the kind of largest consumer base and most photographs represent women doing something in some way to sell something. I understand how influential photography is on the teenage brain and I really wanted to explore it with a group of young women. So for me it was working with a, a young group of women. They are um, part of Kappa, which is this amazing school in, in Wakefield. And we are working together on representation um, how photography works as in what's happening in this photograph. So the idea is that I find locations set in Wakefield and I go and I photograph them and then I bring it back to the girls and ask them what they think, ask them what they see happening there. And they're all kind of public sort of transient spaces where they might be anyway. I really value their input and their kind of understanding and experience they can bring to the pictures because I am a 50-year-old woman and even though I'm a mother of a 20 and 21-year-old and I have seen this process from that angle, they're also mentoring me on their experience. And hopefully then together we'll be able to produce an image that communicates to the viewer. This is real life and it is also beautiful.